determine the natural frequency of given system. Let us understand the given system. Mass M is connected through a rod and it is fixed at its lower end. Now this rod is connected to the two springs with stiffness K1 and K2. For this system we have to find out the natural frequency. So we, we will consider the system is displaced through a distance x towards the left hand side direction. Now we will show this displacement of this mass m through a horizontal distance x and the direction is towards the left hand side direction. So we will show this. Now this mass m is fixed at its lower point o. Now here the angular displacement is taking place about this fixed point. So we will show this angular displacement as a theta. Now because of this horizontal displacement through a distance x, we have to find out the spring force that is developed with stiffness k1 and k2. So the spring forces are developed in the opposite direction of the displacement. So displacement is towards the left hand side direction and therefore the spring force is towards the right hand side direction. So here this is the spring 1, so we will say Fs1 and this is spring 2, we will say Fs2. Now angular displacement theta is also taking place about this point O. And therefore we have to show here the accelerating torque in the direction of the angular displacement. So angular displacement is taking place in anticlockwise direction and in the same way, in the same direction, we have to show the accelerating torque and that is equal to I into theta double dot. Where I is the mass moment of inertia and theta double dot is the angular acceleration. So how we can write this mass moment of inertia I? So we can write here I is equal to because here the mass M is there. So from the fixed point this vertical distance L and that is mentioned in the question. So this I is equal to M into L square. And we can say that this theta double dot is the angular acceleration. Now we have to apply the Newton's second law of motion. And therefore we can say that this accelerating couple because this accelerating torque is also known as accelerating couple is equal to summation of external couple. Now to find out the external couple we have to find out the which are the forces are developed in the system. So the first force is this Fs1 that is the spring force with 1. The second force is spring, the spring force with this second spring. And now here is the mass M that is also getting displaced. Now there is the weight which will act through the center in vertically downward direction. So this weight we have to show the direction of weight is in the downward direction and weight is nothing but mg. Now we have to uh, apply here or we have to show couple. So couple means what? This force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from this fixed point O. Now we will find out what is the couple developed due to this Fs1. So this Fs1 is towards the right hand side direction. And what is the perpendicular distance from the fixed point with the spring K1 that is equal to A. That is also mentioned in the question. Now we will decide its a direction. So direction if we move the compass about the point O in the direction of Fs1 then it is in the clockwise direction. Then in the same way for this Fs2 if we move the compass in the direction of Fs2 about the center O then this is also in clockwise direction. So couple for this couple we have to show we have to consider these directions. Now this mg, so this mg is in the downward direction. So if I move the compass about the center O in the direction of this mg that is in the downward direction then here this is in anticlockwise direction. Now for the anticlockwise direction we will consider negative sign. So I will mention here, so this i theta double dot is also in anticlockwise direction. This mg is also in anticlockwise direction. So we will 
show here negative sign this fs1 is in clockwise so we have to consider here the positive sign for fs1 and fs2 now when this mass m is getting displaced through a distance x then this k2 is getting stretched and this k1 that is spring 1 is getting compressed and this amount of stretching and amount of compressing is this that is we have to join these two points and we will consider this as a delta now we have to find out the value of this delta so we will consider the triangle so triangle o i will consider here notation is a and here is b so in triangle o a b we will find out the value of delta so in this triangle we can say that this sin theta is equal to this o to a that is this a is constant that is mentioned in the question that is a by delta so, sorry uh, delta by a so we will write here sin theta is equal to delta by this a so we can say that delta is equal to a sin theta but this theta is very small so sin theta is equal to theta so delta is equal to a into theta now in the same way we will find out the value of x so i will join the center of these two circles now here also i will consider this center as a q, p and the center as a q so in triangle o p q we will consider x is equal to now this vertical distance is l so we can say that in the same way delta is equal to a theta in the same way x is equal to l into theta so these are the two values that are important now what is the spring force so spring force with stiffness k1 that is this stiffness multiplied by this deflection that is fs1 is equal to k1 into delta and fs2 is equal to k2 into delta now for this delta we have to put the value of a theta so final value for fs1 that is k1 a theta and fs2 k2 a theta and x is equal to l theta now we will apply the formula so this is the free body diagram that we have to draw and we have to show direction of all these forces now we will apply the newton's second law of motion accelerating couple is equal to summation of external couple so accelerating couple is i theta double dot and it's a value is negative so i will write minus i theta double dot is equal to now external couple is fs1 multiplied by this perpendicular distance a so fs1 plus fs1 into a plus fs2 into a now here minus mg into this perpendicular distance is x minus mg into x now we will simplify this so i will transfer this i theta towards the right hand side so this minus sign will become plus and we will take this equation as a is equal to 0. So i theta double dot plus k1 a square theta plus k2 a square theta minus mg into x. Because this fs1 is nothing but k1 a theta. And this perpendicular distance is a. So this a multiplied by a become a square. Now we will again simplify this. So I will um, divide here on both sides with i. So I will write here u equation that is theta double dot plus now this a square theta is a common term so i will take outside the bracket k1 plus k2 a square theta now divided by i minus mg x divided by i is equal to 0 now this i is equal to m into l square so i will mention here as a m into l square and here also m into l square now this x is equal to l into theta. So I will mention here there is a x is equal to l into theta. Then this m m is getting cancelled. L l is also getting cancelled. So again we will simplify this. Therefore theta double dot plus. Now we can also take here as a theta as a common term. So I will take as a k1 plus k2. a square theta divided by m l square minus g theta by l g theta by l is equal to 0 
Now we will again simplify this theta double dot plus k1 plus k2 a square by ml square minus g by l into whole bracket complete theta is equal to 0. Now we will compare this equation for the free longitudinal equation that is x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0. So in this x double dot is the linear acceleration x is the linear displacement. Now if we compare here theta double dot is the angular acceleration and theta is the angular displacement. So we can say that omega n square is equal to this whole term that is in the bracket. So omega n is equal to under root of k1 plus k2 a square by ml square minus g by l. So natural frequency is equal to omega n by 2 pi. So we can write fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root of k1 plus k2 a square by ml square minus g by n. So this is the equation for the natural frequency for the given system.